Ayo, hey, I have been playing a lot of Elementalist lately, and I've been having a ton of fun interactions and ideas with Battle Mantra. So I thought I'd show you guys one of the most fun builds I've run so far. Now, one thing I'll point out at the start here is that we won't be taking Shovel, but instead we'll be taking Buddy Bot. This is because once we upgrade Buddy Bot at the Oasis, he'll give us a 10% increase to damage of a random element, even when he's holstered. We can re-roll this to be a different element in order to guarantee he is increasing the damage of the element we want. In most cases, this would be Cryo. I don't recommend doing this on all classes though. This is a strong play for Elementalist and Engineer however because 1. They have extremely strong elemental builds and 2. They don't have any perk options that limit their weapon capacity to one slot in order to get a damage buff. Honestly, we've been looking for a windmill rifle this whole time and for some reason we haven't gotten them. And that's been like probably the most common weapon to drop for me at, at, up until today. It's rare that I can do a run without finding windmill rifles just all over the place. But we just can't find one. Blaze, plus 15% additional burn damage over time. Oh, what does that roll on though? Surely it must only be able to roll on a few weapons. Because it doesn't sound familiar to me, but I might just not have been paying attention. When you want a gun, it's just nowhere to be found. Yeah, I know. I don't know what the deal is with that, though. Infused weapons right off the bat is solid. We will take that. I don't really want to upgrade these Uzis. Infused weapons is phenomenal because it lets our weapons inherit our mantra's current element. It's also required for battle mantra since battle mantra is a direct upgrade from it. Because I, I don't want to keep the Uzis. I'm not a big Uzi enjoyer here. They're my least favorite dual wield weapon. Beautiful, we already got Battle Mantra, we'd like to see it. Yes! We got Battle Mantra right off the bat, before we left canyons even. That is rare for organic runs. Now we were looking for a windmill rifle, but we could experiment with a few different weapons until we find one. Basically it's a secondary green that will appear along with Burn Affix. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Anything with burn by default, or anything with burn period? Like, can you roll the burn affix onto it, and that allows you to roll blaze onto it as well? Like, if you re-roll, you can only get blaze if the gun itself has, like, you know, blaze in there as well. Man, Cryo Kunai, guys. Cryo Kunai, uh, guess we're gonna have to take it. I mean, uh, you gotta take something, right? Yeah, let's just roll it. Let's just run it. That's what we got. It's my first time taking Kunai on a non-crit class, I believe. So this will be a good way for me to gauge how good it is. Just in general. Yeah, so disregard what I just said there. The kunai is beautiful, and any class would be lucky to be graced by its presence. The heresy that escaped my enamel-lined box of words had to be the result of an upcoming brain aneurysm. I mean, it's still, yeah, it's still doing pretty good. I think it's doing pretty solid. It will always do pretty solid.
I might go back for that volcano rifle though real quick. Burn, unstable nitro. Uh, I'm going to take it. You gotta give other weapons a chance sometimes. The kunai isn't afraid to share the spotlight, unlike that selfish shark sniper people keep telling me about. Yeah, it's doing pretty good. Yeah, Volcano Rifle is putting in some work right now. I actually really like the Volcano Rifle. It takes a little bit to get used to. This is one of those weapons that I despised at first, but now I've grown to love it. But it's only really viable in, like, elemental builds, obviously. Yo? Oh, uh, it's a rhino. Unlucky. I don't like the rhino. Just cooking them out here. All right, let's see here. You need burn, and then it'll roll on it. Basically, you need the blue affix, and then the green will have the chance to become blaze. Volcano rifle is the shit. Yeah, at least the volcano rifle fires straight. Other than the dragon mortar, I yeah, I'm not too big a fan of that dragon mortar. Uh, if I'm being honest, I'm, I don't really like that thing. I don't, really, I don't care for it. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get uh, elemental resonance without having to re-roll when we hit uh, seven. Or is it six? I don't know, I forget. Now, we had to make the choice between Elemental Resonance and Dynamic Mantra. Ideally, we want both, but we took Dynamic Mantra so we could further experiment with the interactions between Battle Mantra and different weapons. Increases explosion damage by 25%? Well, the Volcano Rifle uh, does explosion damage, so we'll take it. We got here. Drunk Archibus? No, thank you. Um. Power cell. We've done plenty of runs after this one, and I've since discovered that me choosing power cells here makes me an idiot. Why, you might ask? Well, because Bottle Cap was staring us in the face, and like many others, at the time of recording, I had thought it to be a weak item. 20% increased damage for only the first shot in a magazine? That's a little small, don't you think? Wrong. Keep in mind, Battle Mantra reloads our weapons for us before giving us a 1.5 second infinite ammo duration. Meaning that for the duration of the infinite ammo, we'll be doing 20% increased damage. This would have been a huge pick for us, especially since we're hunting down a windmill rifle. Now this doesn't really matter for the volcano rifle because it's an energy weapon, but like I said before, we are hunting down a windmill rifle, which is indeed a mag weapon. Never needing to reload is just such a great thing. Battle Mantra is so much fun. Uh, we will definitely take flower pot there, and we will... We'll take popcorn. I love Billy Boom. Billy Boom's my favorite. My favorite first boss, anyways. We were just kind of cooking them. Pretty standard stuff here. If you were sleeping on the Volcano Rifle before though, consider taking it again sometime. It's a very solid weapon. There he goes. Further reduces Mantra Cycle Duration. I mean, come on, yeah, yeah, of course. Now every five seconds, 
It's like five and a ten, but I'm gonna round that down to five. Windmill rifle, and it deals shock damage. Ooh. But this volcano rifle is also smacking. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it, yeah. Look at this thing. I don't think I've ever used the Comet Cannon either. You guys like the Comet Cannon? We finally found our Windmill Rifle. Time to roll Cryo onto it for big damage later. Now, a lot of newer players have been asking me how I'm able to re-roll blue rarity weapons for free. That would be due to the Cooking Gloves gadget. You get this gadget from showing Snapshot Sam in the first field checkpoint, a Blunderbuzz, so then a Junk Rifle, then a Sheriff's Carbine. This is a very strong gadget, so I recommend you prioritize keeping the weapons he wants to see until you show them to him. Run, buddy bot engineer run and can only use the sentries and buddy bot summons to do damage. Yeah, and kangaroo turret. That's actually one of the best builds in the game. Um, do I like this? It increases the range, but I don't really care about that too much. But look at that! Look at that, we can infinitely shoot the windmill. This is what I wanted to do. I'm gonna re-roll again. I don't like, P Pierce is all right. I just don't, I want higher fire rate on it. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know puncture was a thing. Now this, yep, yep, that's the god roll. That's the roll I've been looking for. And now you need to make this guy do extra cryo damage, please, sir. Thank you. Good day. So this is where the build gets funny. And as this run continues, it's gonna grow into something goofy. And if we play our cards just right, it could become something downright silly. Like, this is, this is just funny. I love this. I just don't have to stop shooting. <laughs> this is great. I love this. I love this so much. Hey, Double Doug, thank you so much for the follow. Just watch a Kaboom Grenade video, man. Great stuff. Hey, thank you, Bricks. Appreciate it, man. Glad you liked it. I'm glad you guys all like that. Makes me happy. Makes it worth it. Get busy full auto when you use your abilities. Yeah, that's kind of the same boat that I'm in right now. But I mean, honestly, I, I couldn't care less about my abilities. I think the abilities are really weak on Elementalist. Usually, whenever I use an ability, it's just because um, I'm like about to reload or I'm in reloading and I don't want more uptime. Increase fire rate. I guess, I, you know, I, I guess we'll take increased fire rate, you know how it is. And I guess we'll, you know, we'll take increased fire rate there as well. Oh, and, and you know, we'll just add some increased fire rate into the build. You guys like that? <laughs> this is going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Ugh. This is great. This is, a, this is a good run. Jeez. 
Just taking a jaunt through the Doom Gardens with our bottomless mag windmill rifle filled me with joy. There was little risk, but much reward. All I had to do was hold fire, and anything I looked at would die. It was beautiful. We're just cruising through these gardens. Oh boy, oh boy, that could have been bad. Well, we got snatched up there. That was risky. That threw a wrench into our Doom Gardens run. I could just grapple into the final room here, but I wanted my S rank, so I took the chance. Woo! That was close. That was a real close run right there. Oh my god. That was a bit scary. That was a bit scary in all honesty. Um, we're doing really good. I don't think we need to ever increase the magazine size again. Let's just this could be really good. Yeah, let's, you know, let's do that. Let's do erratic bolts. Thank you for the follow, by the way, Bricks. Appreciate you. This run's gonna be nuts. We'll see if I don't fumble it in the energy labs again. That seems to be a uh, a pretty active crime scene for me. Yeah, we'll definitely take drum. We were about to hit level 7 and choose our next main perk. We were already cooking, but we also didn't have any direct damage increases. We were hoping for either Cryo Mastery or Elemental Resonance. These would both massively increase our damage and put this gun into goofy territory. Uh, Chromatic Mastery, Cryo Mastery, let's get it. Yeah, uh, we're just kind of shredding them now. <laughs> With Cryo Mastery, we were now guaranteed to hit crits on a frozen enemy no matter where we hit them. This is why Cryo is my favorite element by far. It just does the most damage. Pair this up with ice cream, cake, toaster, and a Cryo-yo, and it's game over. This was just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Man, this is great. <laughs> your fastest run uh we actually just got it a few runs ago it was like 24 minutes uh oh yeah we absolutely take toaster here um beautiful shame we couldn't take eggplant We had made it to the energy labs. I had fallen here a few times before this run. It's in my opinion, the hardest area on a standard route. It's meant as a checkpoint to test your build before being granted admission to Haven and District 13, which are honestly just loot and XP areas. We would see how this would hold up in the labs, but I had a feeling we'd be just fine on this run though.
Hopefully I don't get stuck on the wall again. I've died in this room twice in a row. I don't know if I got stuck the first time. I know it was in this room, and I know I definitely got stuck the, the second time. Increase auto crit rate or more fire rate? We have, we already have a 100% auto crit chance against frozen enemies, so all we'd be doing here is increasing the damage by 10%, but I want more fire rate. I want to see just how crazy this can get. <laughs> oh man, you'll love to see it. And we get credit card. I should probably get credit card. Just in case. Just in case we get our fire rate to get even higher than it already is. I should probably take the credit card so that we can still keep up with it. Our windmill rifle was firing so quickly that I actually feared it would be too fast for our battle mantra to keep up with it if we kept upgrading it. Credit card would help with this tremendously though, and my worries were immediately assuaged. When we get to the next checkpoint, we're gonna have to check something. I'm pretty sure there is a maximum fire rate that you can hit. Like you can never go higher than the maximum fire rate. And I'm gonna need to check if we're uh, if we're hitting that quite yet, because uh, we gotta be pretty close. Mental damage, yes, please. All right, so windmill rifle just has a base 15 from cadence, so we have 15% increased fire rate. And then we have another 30%, so we have 45% increased fire rate uh, just from perks. So we still got a ways to go, or hold on. And then we got, we have coffee mug, which is another 10%, so 55% increase. Um, and then if we get lollipop to proc, that's another 35, which would be 90, 90% increase. What's the maximum? Does anyone know the maximum? <laughs> Sorry enemies, I can't hear you over the sound of my gunfire. Exactly. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Well, let's get in there. And that's all, that's all the math without incorporating the uh, warm-up skill that's just like innately on the windmill rifle. <laughs> that 
<laughs> That's getting clipped. That was... <laughs> I love this, dude. This is so... Oh, fuck. This is so fun. This is so fun. Poor Judge Ball didn't even stand a chance. It was sad, really. He wanted a fight, but was instead given an execution. Oh well, it was time for Haven. Here, we would be hitting rank 10, which, knock on wood, would give us elemental resonance for a potential 60% increase to damage against larger health enemies. That is a monstrous increase to damage. We would also be on the hunt for more key items as we went from vendor to vendor. Dude, oh, we're cooking out here. You're cooking out here, Chef Bob. Thank you. Um, what don't we have? What, what do we want that we don't have? We have infused weapons. We have dynamic mantra. We have cryo mastery. Is there something we're forgetting? Because if we're not forgetting it, Elemental Resonance. We're missing Elemental Resonance. There we go. Gun Diet? No. The only reason we don't want Gun Diet is because Elemental Resonance is just too good to pass up. But Gun Diet is a phenomenal perk. It's just a shame that it gets edged out. It would have been funny for the Fire Raid. I will say I probably should have grabbed it just for the Fire Raid meme. But I did not, and now I'm sad. All jokes aside, Elemental Resonance is absolutely the correct choice here. That 60% increase to damage is absurd, and Gun Diet doesn't have anything on it. Not hating on Gun Diet, it's just Elementalist has such good perks already, Gun Diet just doesn't have any room. I'm gonna turn this into a machine. Now this was a risky and impulsive decision. I was low on power cells, so my odds of rerolling this purple windmill to have my desired affixes were slim. But still, the idea of cryo buckshot on this thing was something I just couldn't resist. No! No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. There's still two elites. We're going to return. We're going to return to green. We will absolutely be returning to the green zone. And to top it all off, we found a cryo yo just staring at our face during our power cell drought. He was laughing at us, mocking us. But I wouldn't let that damnable yo yo get away with it. I would return shortly, after a few quick Goliath kills, to claim it for myself. Crit damage, auto crit chance, and crit damage. We will take this. Okay. Now we must return to green.
going the wrong way, but that's okay. There's an enemy here, and he didn't even drop an energy cell. How rude. Okay, we got the yo-yo. Let's roll. What's it called? It's just called a yo-yo. Can we talk about how they missed such an opportunity to call it the cry yo-yo? They, they could have called it the cry yo-yo, and they just went with yo-yo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Yuki. Alright. Okay. Alright, we're gonna gamble. Because we always win. We always win. Just in case anyone hasn't been hearing me preach at all stream long. The one Wonka bar that you skip will always be the one that has the winner. I will win. Alright. Now we can roll some beautiful, beautiful cryo onto this. Or not. Okay, cryo, cryo volatile. With cadence. And freeze. But I don't like quick load. And I don't like volatile. We do have banana in the build, though. So maybe we do like volatile. I was hoping for Buckshot, though. I'm gonna try again. Cryo Buckshot with Cadence and Sharp. I don't care about the buildup. We already have so much buildup. This Windmill Rifle's about to be wild. God, dude. I could make a very inappropriate joke about Modern Warfare 2. But I think I won't. For the sake of my uh, channel remaining monetized. <laughs> We had crafted a weapon capable of felling a god. We had all of our desired perks oh, and half of our god. desired items to boot. There was a chance that this could be a perfect run if we got the items we desired. We still needed ice cream and cake. An ugly tie wouldn't hurt. Either way, Iris had to be terrified of the swift death rapidly approaching her. Increases cryo auto crit chance by 15% and crit but I want Mantra Bonus, because... Yeah, I'm gonna take the Mantra Bonus. Because I already have a 100% crit rate whenever they're frozen. So really, it's no different than just taking a... What's it called? 10% increased crit damage. I'm like Admiral Aokiji. This one is very goofy. I'm so excited to fight Iris. I'm so excited to fight Iris. We're probably gonna upload this run if we get it. If we complete this, we'll probably upload it. Just because it's it's very fun and entertaining. I hope I hope this is an entertaining one to watch because oh my god, I'm having so much fun with this.
All right, please just give me Uncle Jim. No, dude, I just wanted to do a DPS check. Come on. All right, here we go. This is what you wanted, Beat Oriel. You could have just given me Uncle Jim. You brought this upon yourself. Good lord, yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. And we just got ugly tie. I'm pretty sure Iris is gonna have a bad time, everybody. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty confident that Iris is gonna have a bad time. That is strong. Yes, it is. Something just spawned right next to me and almost full killed me. I'm actually like clearing the room so fast that stuff is spawning right next to me. I guess we take Vaporize? We've sent the footage to the judges that oversee the Goofy rankings, and it is with great pleasure that I inform you our build has been officially deemed silly. Rejoice and enjoy the show. It is a tremendous honor to be in the driver's seat of such a beautiful instrument of death and destruction. I was holding back the urge to shed a tear of joy upon learning this, but I couldn't afford for it to affect my aim, so I stoically held myself together and fought my way to Iris's lair. We hit 15. Oh, brother. And we get to increase our elemental damage again. I'm so excited for this fight. They're giving me two legendary offerings here and I don't even have 12, dude. Like what? Come on. They're just making fun of me. Whatever. Yeah, well, at least we got a level 15 windmill rifle. So take that game. Alas, the perfect build would not be realized on this day, but Iris still had plenty of reason to be afraid. Why did my gun just randomly stop firing? Well, that was quick. That was pretty quick. Alright, let's try this now. I really wish I could have kept firing through the lasers, but I didn't want to lose the run. Oh my god. What perks giving the infinite ammo? Battle mantra. And there it was. There One of our most fun builds to date. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, please consider showing some love by giving this video a like, a comment, and subscribing. It genuinely helps out the channel a bunch, and I am deeply appreciative of the act. If you want to hang out live, you can check out my Twitch in the description below. I'm generally on during weekday mornings, Eastern Standard Time, around the same time I post my videos. 
Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you all have an amazing day. I'm Hatterax, signing off. Peace. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Thank you, Mito. Appreciate the follow. I gotta check something real quick. Ugh. Yo, we just broke 5k followers on YouTube or subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. That's a good day. Hey, Ixian. I hope I appreciate I I, I can pronounce that somewhat right.